Whenever we take a simple alkene that is not aromatic and we mix it in with some type of acid, for example, we take an ethene and mix it with HBr, an electrophilic addition reaction will take place. Basically, the pi bond of this molecule grabs this H atom displacing the bromide and this first step is the protonation step. In the second step, the bromide basically attacks this carbon that has a positive charge forming the addition product. So under normal condition, conditions, this reaction takes place at a reasonable rate. Now if we instead replace this simple non-aromatic alkene with an aromatic molecule such as benzene, no reaction is observed. No electrophilic addition reaction with benzene actually takes place. The question is why? Well, to answer this question, let's take a look at the hypothetical reaction, electrophilic addition reaction with benzene and HBr. So let's imagine that this reaction does in fact take place. Let's look at the reaction mechanism and compare the products to our reactants. So the reactants react, one of the pi bonds of the benzene grabs the H displacing the bromide forming the bromide and this carbocation. So notice the H ends up on this carbon and the positive charge falls onto this second carbon. Now, because we have two pi bonds here, there is resonance stabilization. So three possible resonance stabilized forms can actually exist. And this, of course, will be a stabilizing process. Now, in the second step, in the addition step, the bromide has three potential pathways that it can take. It can either grab this carbon, this carbon, or this carbon, forming the following three potential products. Now, the question is, what exactly tells us what's the difference between the reactants and the products that tells us why this reaction does not take place in nature? Why doesn't the electrophilic addition of the benzene take place in the same way that it took place for this simple non-aromatic alkene? Well, let's, look, let's take a look at the following reactant. The reactant is a benzene and it has aromaticity. That is, it's fully conjugated, it's planar, it's cyclic, and it obeys Huckel's rule. And that basically implies that we have a lot of delocalization of electron density. So our electron density is delocalized among all our orbitals of all the carbons in that ring. And that is very stabilizing. The delocalization energy of benzene is relatively high. However, in the product, when we examine one of these products, we see that aromaticity is lost. Our product is no longer full, <clears throat> is no longer fully conjugated, and that is not a very stabilizing process. So basically, this reaction is not very favored kinetically. It has a very high activation energy. So although the first step forms a resonance stabilized intermediate, the entire process, the electrophilic addition of benzene destroys aromaticity, and this is not very stabilizing. So basically, electrophilic addition of benzene never takes place. It's very unlikely that it takes place, and under normal conditions, we never observe these products. However, if we add a strong acid and label that strong acid with some type of label radioactive atom, for example, we replace our H atom with deuterium, we form a substituted product. So basically, if we take our benzene that has six H's and we react it with this labeled strong acid and we wait a very long time, we produce the following benzene molecule that is substituted, that is, all the H atoms have been replaced, have been substituted with deuterium. And the question is, why and how does this deuterium substitution of benzene actually take place? 
Well, to answer this question, let's take a look at the mechanism of this reaction. So what exactly is taking place? What's the difference between this electrophilic addition reaction and this deuterium substitution of benzene? So here we have our labeled acids. So we have our sulfur, our oxygens, and our two deuteriums. Now in the first step, the step is basically identical to this step in the sense that our pi bond grabs our deuterium and forms the following resin stabilized intermediate in the same way that we form this resin stabilized intermediate in the electrophilic addition reaction. Now, the second step of this reaction is not the same as in this case. So in this case, the bromide added itself to form the product that did not have aromaticity. So aromaticity was lost in the electrophilic addition of benzene. But in this deuterium substitution, what happens is we have this resin stabilized molecule. And in the second step, this same molecule in which we now have one less deuterium uses its lone pair of electrons to take away our H atom. So basically this H atom that is found on this carbon that has our deuterium is taken away but this two, these two electrons in a sigma bond are left over and these two electrons form a pi bond between these two carbons. And the most important point, the key point in this reaction, that basically explains why this substitution reaction actually takes place is that aromaticity is reformed. So even though this reaction takes place and aromaticity is momentarily lost in this intermediate, that aromaticity is regained in our product that now has a deuterium atom instead of our H atom. And if these two steps take six times, so if they basically take place six more times, all these H atoms can be replaced in the following manner with deuterium. So although electrophilic addition reactions of benzene do not take place because they destroy aromaticity, substitution reactions of benzene do take place because not only do they go through the resonance stabilized, but we also form the product that regains its aromaticity. So once again, in the presence of a strong acid, and if we wait a long time, benzene can be protonated to produce a resonance stabilized intermediate. Now the conjugate base that is formed can then grab a hydrogen atom to reform the aromatic benzene that is now substituted with a new H atom or a new deuterium as was seen in this case. So the key point, the important point that explains why this does not take place and this does take place is the fact that in this case, aromaticity is lost in the product, but in this case, aromaticity is regained. So once again, whenever we take benzene and place it in the presence of a strong acid like this one, addition, electrophilic addition reactions do not take place in the same way that they took place in this case. However, substitution reactions do in fact take place as shown here. We can actually substitute all the H atoms with deuterium as long as the aromaticity of the product is actually regained.